Wait a minute, I hear something. Dr. Boober! Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dr. Movie, where I talk about movies while driving my car, and you're drunk enough to listen to it, and not turn it off. That's the key point. Not turning it off. Sticking with it to see what I'm going to talk about. Uh, This is a good, we got a good one for you today. Um, We are going to talk about a first time watch for me. Karate Warriors from 1976, which is, again, you you hear me talk about, all I have to hear is a couple of words put together that intrigue me and I'm in, right? How how more can you (laughs) pick something specifically for me than pick a movie from 1976 and have the words karate and warriors in it, right? And lo and behold, uh, it's a Sonny Chiba film which I'm always down for, but I've never seen this one before. And uh, I tell you what, it doesn't disappoint. If, you're, uh, if you don't know who Sonny Chiba is, all the, uh, the fantastic Street Fighter movies, this is kind of what brought him to fame. And, and this one's no different. This is like a continuation, it feels like. And uh, pretty much made him the hero that he is. Uh, Everybody in the uh, martial arts, grindhouse, exploitation uh, movie fans, they, they all have a great appreciation for the the works of Sonny Chiba. And I'm no different. Unfortunately, I just haven't seen them all. So I uh, was excited about checking this one out and uh, had a blast with it. Let me pull out on the highway here. And... Um, Let's talk about this one, shall we? We shall. Uh, action martial arts flick, 1976. Like I said, uh, it's pretty straightforward. A street fighter and a samurai sword expert join an underworld family feud over heroin. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I love the fact of, you know, Sonny Chiba comes into town. You, you kind of get the John Rambo feel about him when he comes in, right? He's... Basically, got a jacket and a, and a a clothes basket or a clothes bag on his back. And that's it. And he's just wandering into town. You know, of course, with Rambo, he's looking for his old team or whatever. Old uh, army pals, war pals. And uh, here is just Sonny coming in looking for some work. And. Uh, he sees a fight going on in the street. This one kid gets hurt pretty bad. And he looks around like, does nobody care? I mean, they're just going to let him lay here? So he puts him on a mat and drags him to a hospital. And the doctor's working on him. And here's where Chiba gets the, the lowdown of what's happening, right? You got these two brothers that are both heads of these two different gangs, both trying to cover the same territory. And they're both in power because this other guy, and he's in prison, been locked up for a while. Apparently, he was the big, uh, the big gang lord of the time, and apparently has a an incredible amount of hidden heroin somewhere, worth millions. And he's locked up, and only he knows where it is. Well, the two brothers have started their own gangs, and they're both fighting each other. And they're both trying to find this heroin. And that's that's pretty much the basis for this whole movie, right? And uh, Chiba, who in this movie is named Chico, which I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't they just call him Chibo, you know, or Chiba, but uh, not Chico. He don't look like a Chico, just saying. But anyways, uh, while he's at this doctor's, the doctor's like, hey, you you found this guy in this territory? That's probably not a good thing because there's this war going on between these gangs. 
So he kind of gets the lowdown of what's happening, right? So he kind of gets his interest of, you know, hmm, this may be an opportunity for something. And uh, later on that day, he's out walking. He sees a little boy that's fishing by himself. And he goes over and makes friends with the little boy. And uh, comes to find out this little boy is the son of the samurai. And they're kind of living in a barn. There is no family life. Uh, Of course, you know, this guy's a, a, a hired gun, right? And he actually works for one of the gangs. Well, uh... Sonny Chiba, Chico, <clears throat> ends up wandering into this place where they're staying. It basically looks like a barn. And um, while he's there, the secondary gang come and try to kill the samurai. And of course, you got Chico there as well. So we get some excellent fighting going on here. Both guys are holding their own. And um, they try to kidnap the kid, right? So they're trying to get the kid, and uh, that way they got something that they can hold against the samurai guy. Because I think both sides are wanting the samurai to work for them. Like I said, he's a pretty bad dude. And uh, that doesn't work out because, you know, you got Chico there now, and you got Chico and the man. Chico and the samurai man. <laughs> and. Uh, so out of this, there's some confusing stuff going on where there's this young lady that's a nurse, right? She's working at the hospital. She's involved, you know, with this stuff. But she's got a sister. I believe it's her sister. Could be cousin. Could be aunt. I think it's sister, though. Um, and she's... I want to say she's a madam. But she's playing both sides of the gang, right? She actually works for one of them, but... She acts like she's in love with the other brother. She's messing around with both brothers. But she's actually the girlfriend of the guy that's in prison. And uh, so, you know, she's one of those that kind of gets bounced around. She's just there to try to make a living and not get killed, right? Because once you get involved with that kind of stuff, there's really no way out. So you better play nice uh, if you want to or not. So uh, there's your lineup of all the characters, really. And from there, it's uh, Sonny Chiba going to both gangs and saying, hey, I can whip every guy you got here. You need to hire me. And then he'll do a demonstration and beat up their toughest guy. And then when they offer the money, he's like, <laughs> I'm not working for that. That's not enough. And then he'll leave. But uh, he's playing both sides. And in his mind, he's trying to score on the heroin, right? So I think it's funny that you know, this whole movie is all about Sonny Chiba. You know, it's all over a little boy and some heroin. <laughs> kind of a weird concept, but that's that's what we have here. But uh, by the end of it, you've got where, again, they're still trying to blackmail the, the samurai. Matter of fact, there's even one scene where Sonny Chiba comes in, and he has cut the arm, Sonny Chiba's character, cut the arm off of a guy from one of the gangs, wraps it up in a newspaper and they're and the two brothers are trying to have this big truce because they both think each other knows where the heroin is and they're trying to at least get half of it where you know they'll play nice to where they can get at least half and while they're having their meeting Sonny Chiba comes in and just lays his arm on the table he's like yep the samurai is out there and he's killing people on your side so he's like betraying them so he's making it you know he's playing along with it and uh so that kind of causes a rift between the samurai and, and Chico. And uh, by the end of it, the samurai even tells his son, one day I'm going to have to fight that guy. Because that's how these movies go, right? Uh, even though they kind of are, are friends in a way, they still got their reputations and, you know, the honor and all that stuff, right? So, um, you got a lot of you know, beating up, let's just put it this way, Sonny Chiba, Chico, I don't know, I think he whips like, I don't know, each each gang's got like 30 people in it. <laughs> now, he does get some help from the samurai there at one point, but 
I think I think Sonny whips about 90 people in this movie. Kills a bunch of them. Because um, he fights three gangs. He fights the two brothers' gangs, beats all of them, and then the guy gets out of prison who's blind in one eye, and he brings his gang. And they're, they're a little bit more notorious, right? Matter of fact, a lot of his guys left and went to these brothers' gangs because they didn't have anything else to do while he's in prison. So when he gets out, he's a little pissed at them, like they're supposed to stay loyal. But you know, they gotta have they gotta have food put on the table. So, and uh, you go through this whole movie with this girl that is the link to all of this. And then as soon as dude gets out of jail, he kills her. And then uh, you get where uh, Chico finds out the mystery to where the the heroin is before the guy gets out of prison and finds it in a graveyard and uh, the samurai shows up and you know he's like I, I some somehow I knew you were gonna find it right so they both knew that they were both looking for the same thing because this is a way to as bad as it is it's worth all this money they'll be set for life right so we, we get the big fight between the samurai and Sonny Chiba and then after that, we get, you know, the guy that's in prison and his gang showing up for another big fight. And uh, I'm not going to tell you much more than that, right? Uh, it's a pretty cool ending. Pretty awesome. I'm telling you, the fight scenes in this are great. There's a great one, great stuff that happens on a train. Uh, this is a cool flick. I'll just tell you that. It It seems... It's kind of weird having a, a samurai in a... I'm going to say this movie's supposed to be set in the 70s. Just because of the technology and everything that's going on. And the way they're dressed. They definitely look 70s. Um, so that, that kind of threw me a little bit. Um, the whole thing with the little boy. And, um, you know, not having both of his parents. All that stuff plays into it. It's a solid flick, y'all. Uh, really good. It's on Tubi for free. And uh, if you like any kind of martial arts stuff, especially if you like Sonny Chiba stuff, you got to check this one out. I, I was really impressed with this one. When it started, I was a little worried because the audio, I was like, this is uh, not really up to par. But it kind of kicks into gear and, and straightens out. It's, I think it's just mainly an overdub at the beginning we you have a narrator come in, and it sounds pretty crappy, but the rest of it, pretty dang solid. They do get a little crazy with the Scooby-Doo music in this one. Uh, that's the only thing I thought was really odd, was the, the music sounds like, you know, the sound effects and stuff that you'd hear on Scooby-Doo. Does it really fit? I don't know. That's the oddball thing about this flick. But overall, super awesome flick great fight scenes. It's Sonny Chiba. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't go wrong, right? Uh, pretty much the start of the violent martial arts, right? Uh, it's kind of like where you put the Steven Seagal stuff, right? He's not just going to punch somebody in the face. It's going to be something where you're like, oh, that hurt. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what uh, the Street Fighter movies and all that started off with. Was, you know, It's a bit more gory, a bit more bloody than pretty much all your other stuff in the martial arts world at that time in cinema. So there you go, folks. That's pretty much my thoughts on this one. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this a four out of five. It's a very very solid flick, no doubt about it. So I hope you enjoy it. Go check it out for yourselves. I did again didn't want to spoil everything. So uh, give this one a shot. Let me know what you think. Uh, there's some other Chiba flicks on there as well. I don't know that both the Street Fighter movies are on there. I, I know that, well, I say both. There's quite a few knockoffs and further down the line sequels and stuff. We may get into some of those. I need to do the first two Street Fighters. So, uh, we'll try to get those done pretty soon. Alright, folks, that's it for this one. We will check you later. Check you later.